Hello, hey, hope you're doing great. So today I'm gonna be reacting to Journey, Mother, Father. And this is from Life 1981, Escape Tour. And it says that this is the 2020, 2022 high high HD remaster. I was gonna say high definition. <laughs> um, now, I'm, this is a suggestion from someone in the community post that I did. Um, I love I, I love Journey. <laughs> yes, I don't I haven't listened to a lot of music by Journey. I this is like two or three songs that I know from them. Um, like don't stop believe me believe it. Na 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 na. And then the one faithfully. Those are the three songs that I know mainly from Journey. Um, especially Journey. I love Journey a lot. Oof, beautiful, beautiful song. Um, so now, mother and father. Let's see what's going on with this. It's um, it's seven minutes. It's, it's you know, it's a little long, but yeah, let's see. You know, this is rock music, and uh, this is gonna be my reaction. So let's do it. Let me say that it's important. I love that he's using a piano piano. The progression is very nice. With dreams in your life, right at last is for life. He dreams of the life. Now, classical, it goes now classical a little bit. That long note was super nice there. Let me see if it goes again. Uh, oh, I like that. <laughs> It does like you need to pay this type of progression. You 
so Picardi <laughs> can answer it. That's a face that you make when you play like that. <laughs> That's a face you put when you play some blues. The cadence. shiver in the end I, I'm a, a classical guitarist but I love piano the piano is oof. I think that every rock band should have a piano <laughs> a piano like that you know that type of piano um, it's just it does give this special um, sound to, to the music um, I get convinced when I was watching one of the Dear uh, Grey uh, I don't I don't remember the band, but there's a song called Telegraph or something like that. They have the piano. Dear Stray, I think that is. Dire Strait, I don't know. And the piano, <laughs> that song is, oof. Also, Guns N' Roses, it used this type of piano a lot. And then, you know, Queen, right? Um, it's just give this special taste, special, like, we, we in Puerto Rico we call it a song like a uh, spice, and then of course he, he finished with the solo and and he just finished with this perfect uh, chord right, the way that it finished right. You, I was not expecting that it was gonna just finish. The piano was just doing an outro, and the camera turned off. I'm gonna continue talking a little bit more right. Um, I wanted to say also that this remind me a little bit of. Of Ingui Masting, right? <laughs> I don't know, but it did have a little bit of of neoclassical in the sense that there was some progression that he it was going very very neoclassical, and his voice is woof. and also the guitar solo was really good, and there was a, a note and specifically that was good as a open you know open note for other chord. Um, well, overall, this song was really good. I was not expecting Journey to sound like this, um, which it means that probably I should listen to more Journey. <laughs> so that was a really good song. I'm very impressed. And then also the sound quality of the concert is amazing, so beautiful. So yeah, this is my reaction. So thank you so much for 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 um, suggesting me, suggesting me this. Probably because of the sound and the piano and the, the electric guitar, the solo and the guitar is really good, really good. So yeah, thank you so much for watching and see you later.